So it's a beautiful day in Illinois. It's raining and uh, I think we're gonna take a road trip. We're going up north. We're gonna go to Lake Superior and Phelps, Wisconsin, about 444 miles. Wish us luck. We'll see what the road has in store for us today. Illinois has two seasons, if you didn't know this already. Winter and road construction. So we are heading north in my 79 Z28 that I call the Curse Marrow. This car has left me stranded so many times. How will today be any different? After roadkill nights, I decided with my friend to go into Canada. And we went to a bunch of places out there. The first place we went, obviously, to cross the border, where I believe it's Port Huron, which was on Lake Huron. Then we went into Toronto, which is on Ontario. And then on our way home from Niagara Falls, we drove along Erie. So that's three great lakes. Now, a couple days prior to actually going to Roadkill Nights, I took lunch on Lake Michigan. So that's four great lakes. Lake Superior, five great lakes. We finally crossed over into Wisconsin. So far, so good. If we actually pull this off and make it into Upper Peninsula, Michigan, this is going to be a huge accomplishment. Let's just say this car has a really bad reputation in being very unreliable. A good example of this is when the engine decided to eat the camshaft last summer. Since I never thought that we would make it this far and Wisconsin Dells is such a short detour away, I just couldn't resist not going. We basically ran through here. We are in the Dells at the moment. As you can see, we got the duck. So that is a pretty substantial amount that we've driven already. So the plan here is we're basically probably gonna take 23 through the Dells, whoop, hook back up with 39, and here's the goal in the next couple hours. Go through here, all the way up here. We've covered a lot. We still have a lot to cover. Let's get back in this car and put some miles behind us. Cruising the dials in the Curse Marrow. So these roller coasters right here, one of them actually goes underneath the parking lot. It's pretty cool. Ooh, water, water bad. All right, moving along. Who wants to see an upside down house? Next stop on the tour, I might run in here and grab some donuts for my friends and I. More roller coasters to the left. All right, here's the main strip of the Dells. If you like going to bars, there's plenty of them. There's plenty of places to eat. A lot of cool little attractions. Coming up on the right is High Rock Cafe. This is pretty surreal, let me tell you. I never thought that I would be driving this Camaro in the Dells. I was lucky to leave the neighborhood, <laughs> you know? So, but we should probably get gas because we, I think, have another four hours, I want to say, or, or more, to Superior. All right, so we're at the auto parts store, and, no, oh, this is totally not going to work. Oh, maybe. Nobody has a grommet for this thing. So I'm going to tape it together. Because I don't want the bottom piece falling out of my motor. So, tape it up. And get back on the road. I want you to look at that. So going back to this whole Niagara Falls deal. When we were out there, we actually found a car show. Of course. You know? Hey, we're on vacation. What are we going to do? Of course we're going to go check out some Canadian muscle cars. Duh. While we wait for something exciting to happen or for the car to break down, I will show you guys that. Now you might be asking yourself also, what's, so, what's the big deal about driving this car? You know, there's, there's guys that are running 
you know, drag week and, and running power to them. The thing is this, I don't want to get into the whole history of the car, but when I got this car, it was in really bad shape. I mean, just to name a couple things that were wrong with it. The master cylinder reservoir going to the back had no fluid in it. It was completely rotted. The transmission got rebuilt. I guess. Putting a rebuild kit in a transmission doesn't necessarily mean that it was rebuilt. If you don't get to the root of the problem, like I said, this thing was jumping out of gear, you really didn't fix anything. So, to conclude this rambling madness. Why this is important to me is because this car has never left the state. It barely left the neighborhood half the time. And when it did, it basically came back on a flatbed. Or I end up having to fix it on the side of the road. It's getting colder and colder. We're getting towards the Northwoods. Actually, are we in the Northwoods already? No, not quite. Almost there. Luckily, we brought a duffel bag full of clothes because this thing has no heat. So we might bust that out or bust out a blanket or something. We got some uh, cold air coming through here, so we're trying to cool it off as best as we can. <laughs> Getting there slowly. I don't know if you can see me. I'm tired. We're in Michigan. Well, we're still actually in Wisconsin. We will be in Michigan in a minute or so. Got about 45 minutes left to Superior. Still in one piece for now. We are moments away from Lake Superior. That does not look like Lake Superior. Nope. We're gonna have to find a, a place to actually see the lake. I'm gonna do a couple donuts, I'm gonna come pick you up. <laughs> oh no. And this is where the car breaks down. Maybe. So at this point, we weren't giving up. We decided to get back in the car and drive along Superior to see if we could find access to the lake. Finally, we stumbled upon this park. The only problem was we were surrounded in total darkness. All right, we made it. It is dark, it is cold. We are at Lake Superior. We are hoping for like a downtown scenario. So now we get to drive back to Phelps, which is about another hour and a half, but. I'm freezing. There's Lake Superior. We did it. We conquered. Let's go back to the Camaro if it's still there. I still can't believe to this day that the car that used to be so unreliable made it all the way to Upper Peninsula, Michigan. And the only breakdown we had that weekend, for once, was not from the Curse Camaro.